This is Michael Wilson. We're looking at the question, is God with us? Now, this, this is actually a, a real good question. Uh, here's, here's what we know. Nothing is impossible with God. So let us consider that Jesus came to us born of a virgin. In our natural self, we say, well, that can't be. But it happened. And he was given a name, Emmanuel, which means God is with us. That is a message of hope in God's new plan. His goal is that we will have an intense relationship with his son, Jesus. So maybe we experience his presence every minute of every day. He's Emmanuel, God with us. So we know that an angel came uh, to Joseph, uh, Mary's husband, and, and said, Joseph, son of David, do not fear to take Mary as your wife, which is natural. He was concerned about it. For that which is conceived in her is from the Holy Spirit. And she will bear a son, and you who call his name Jesus, for he saved himself from their sins. And all this took place to fulfill what the Lord had spoken by the prophet. And that was in Isaiah, Behold, the virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and they shall call his name Emmanuel, which means God with us. So this is one of the more amazing prophecies in the Bible. Uh, the verse was found in Matthew 1, 23, where the angel tells Joseph that Mary will give birth to a son. This is a direct quotation from Isaiah 7, 14, where the prophet Isaiah announced that a sign of God's faithfulness to his people would be a virgin. This is the prophecy, a virgin conceiving and bearing a son who would be called Emmanuel. So what does this name mean? How can a human child be God with us? And how does this prophecy relate to the rest of the Bible and to our lives today? So we're going to explore a, a little about these questions and see how the name Emmanuel reveals the identity, the mission, and the presence of Jesus the Messiah. This is the tiny thing. The promise was through Jesus, God would be with us. And he is. So the name Emmanuel means that Jesus is God in the flesh. So that's that's the first thing. When we think about the Trinity, we think about the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. We come face to face with Jesus and Jesus being God. And he was not only God, he was God in the flesh. He came to us and lived among us. So the name Emmanuel means that Jesus is God for us. So he was with us in the flesh, but he's for us. He came to save us from our sins and to fulfill all the promises of God to his people. And the third thing is the name Emmanuel means Jesus is God with us. He is not distant. He's not impersonal, but he is a personal and relational God who loves and wants to have fellowship with us. Just think about it. God is with us through Jesus, who was born by the Holy Spirit. God is with us. God is with us. And his name is Emmanuel and Jesus. And that's just more than a name. It is a declaration of who Jesus is and what he has done for us. It is a reminder of how much God loves us and close he is to us. It is an invitation to trust him and to follow him with all of our hearts. It is a hope that fills us with joy and peace in this world and in the world to come. Now that's some mighty good news, brothers and sisters.